As a parent, I find myself constantly wondering about the future my daughters will live in. I'm thrilled whenever I imagine the wonders the world holds in store for them, and my best moments are those spent witnessing their joy at new discoveries. Nobel laureate Daniel Kahneman explains that because our brain is so adept at finding causality in our past, we tend to believe the future can be explained and predicted. This is of course terribly misguided because random chance plays a much greater role in reality than we normally account for. There are many examples for just how wrong people's predictions tend to be. My favorite is a story about the Beatles who were rejected by Decca Records in 1962. The studio executive informed their producer they had no future in show business. Five years later, they released Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. Now that we're clear how badly profits miss, I'll share my methodology. Firstly, I chose to focus on web technology because it's my passion, and I try to stay on top of what's going on. Secondly, since I'm not as smart as Asimov, Edison, or any of the other giants who also made hilariously wrong predictions, I further reduced my risk by crowdsourcing. A while ago, I posted a plea over Facebook asking people to share which technologies they believed would impact us in the near future. What follows is a summary of the ideas people shared. Every journey begins with a single step, and ours isn't actually into the future, but rather to the present's bleeding edge. 3D printers, commercially available starting at $299 a unit, are gaining traction and already impacting prototyping and manufacturing. We're soon going to witness a huge increase in the number of gizmos giving us access to the Internet. Google Glass, a hands-free smartphone-like device, is already out in beta and is scheduled for release to the general public later this year. Because we're fortunate enough to be blessed with access to the Internet, we never realize we're part of the privileged few. Over 66% of the world's population isn't as lucky. Thanks to initiatives like Google's Project Loon and others, I have faith ubiquitous internet is only a few years away. Flexible screens are finally coming too. Despite the first working prototypes being 40 years old, it's only now manufacturers are releasing the first generation of consumer products to feature curved and bendable screens. Debuting in the 90s, but receiving a boost from developments like the screen technologies we just saw, it looks like virtual reality is finally ready to take off. Oculus Rift, a commercially available VR headset, has game developers buzzing with excitement this year. As real-time and other data become available to us at home, outside and on the go, we'll have to develop new ways to interact. The mouse, keyboard and touchscreen will be supplemented by gesture, eye tracking and voice controls. Today's prototype interfaces will find mass adoption tomorrow. Reviewing the technologies we've encountered so far, it seems not too far-fetched to imagine a future where the use of reality augmenting personal head-up displays is as prevalent as smartphones are today, and our physical reality is seamlessly supplemented by new virtual ones. Opportunities to enhance reality aren't limited to the world around us, but perhaps much more significantly apply to ourselves as well. Prosthetic prototypes capable of connecting directly to an amputee's nervous system are undergoing testing in Switzerland and Italy. Robots have been serving in our armies for decades. As technologies become cheaper, we'll see them taking ever-increasing roles in our civilian lives, too. Google is already staking its claim in that future, with massive investments in robotics companies. Which should be viewed in context of the company's deeper commitment to the field, like their self-driving car project, now entering its fourth year, and recently found to be less accident-prone than human-driven vehicles. 
processing location in real time is an example of the big data we're capable of coping with. But since we now create every two days as much information as we did from the beginning of time till the end of 2003, new data technologies are highly in demand. Synthesizing meaningful observations from these gargantuan repositories is a task we're ill-matched to face alone. Artificial intelligences around the globe are following Turing's advocated education regimens to train for analysis and utilization of the data we're all ceaselessly creating. The underlying force propelling our accelerating voyage into the future is Moore's Law, which has seen us doubling the power of data processing at our disposal every two years since 1965. Evolutions such as photonic computing promise this rate of progress won't be slowing down anytime soon. If anything, thanks to breakthroughs such as the V-Wave quantum computer, which is 35,000 times faster than any computer ever built, it looks like our data processing abilities are set for a massive acceleration. Whatever technological wizardry the future holds in store for us, the rate at which we adjust to it will be subject to our human limitations. The one guarantee I can give my girls is that the same wondrous human faculty promises I'll also love them, always. Thank you very much.